Hello, I am Dr. Sham Agarwal, Senior Consultant and Head of the Department of Medical Oncology at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. In our country, nearly 21,000 new cases of bladder tumor get diagnosed. The incidence over the years is increasing. This is a disease which is uh, more common in males as compared to females. And if you were to look at the distribution between cities and rural areas, Delhi, Thiruvanthapuram, Kolkata, Mumbai really stand out as compared to places like Barshi and other rural areas where the incidence is much lower. And the incidence in the last 10 years is continuously increasing, especially in Delhi and Mumbai. One can divide urinary bladder cancers into mainly two types. One is non-muscle invasive, the other is muscle invasive. Non-muscle invasive is very easy to manage, uh, usually done by urologists, and they don't spread, and they don't usually kill the patient. Whereas the muscle invasive ones are the more difficult cancers to treat. However, the main treatment for such patients revolves around radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. Uh, until you know, a few years ago, main treatment was surgery, which is the removal of bladder. And with that, one has to either put a bladder, new bladder, uh, you know, uh, in the form of a bag in which the urine collects, or you have to have a urinary diversion in the intestine. In the last 5-10 years, chemo and radiation uh, before surgery have become an important tool. However, uh, it is still evolving. That is the role of chemotherapy and radiation before doing surgery. Uh, coming to metastatic bladder cancer. A lot of advances have taken place uh, in the last one decade or so. One can say very easily today, there are four lines of treatment. One is chemotherapy. Second is immune checkpoint inhibitors or immunotherapy. And third and fourth are targeted drugs. The third is, for example, an antibody called n 42 mab vedotin and fourth is FGFR inhibitor called adrafatinib. So with these modalities, stage 4 bladder tumors were not surviving until, you know, availability of these facilities. Uh, 5 years survival was less than 10%. But now more than 20 to 30% patients can go on to live beyond 5 years. And with the research happening in the field of molecular biology, next generation sequencing, understanding of new modalities, these figures are likely to get better and better. There are diagnostic challenges in the management of urinary bladder cancers. Pathologists have to really take care while giving a report. One such important decision is whether the muscle is involved or not. We see in our practice a lot of reports coming from the pathologists that the muscle is not included. So I think the urologists and the pathologists have to get together to really figure out whether the patient has muscle invasive tumor or a non-muscle invasive tumor because the treatment is entirely different. For non and muscle invasive tumors, you can just get away with bladder tumor resection followed by uh, say intravesical BCG or chemotherapy like mitomycin C. Whereas the muscle invasive bladder tumors, one has to go the entire treatment in the form of surgery, adjuvant chemotherapy and if required, radiation. Uh, future of all tumors including bladder cancer is revolving around the understanding of molecular biology. For example, in patients with bladder cancer, FGFR, HRAS, P53, these are common genes which are involved. We do not have drugs against a lot of these. So, so new drugs which will target these genetic abnormalities are likely to bring in new hope and new direction for management of advanced bladder cancer tumors.